right, so today we're talking about volume, and we're going to dive deeper into it, and specifically, um, we're going to relate to volume in terms of liquid. So we're going to start off, so say we have a tank that we want to fill with water, and this tank is 40 centimeters by 20 by 30, right? 40 centimeters um, in height, uh, 20 centimeters uh, wide, and 30 centimeters in length. And I want to figure out what the volume is, but um, more importantly, I want to figure out what the volume is in liquid. So in this case, we have 30 by 20 by 40. And now volume tells us that we can multiply these numbers, the height, the length, and the width, and we can get an answer. Right, so I have three zeros here. We're going to do this quick. Um, three times two is six. Six times four is twenty-four. With three zeros, right? Using my shortcut, is twenty centimeters or twenty-four thousand um, centimeters cubed. That is the volume of my tank. Now, say I want this in milliliters. Well, the rules in milliliters is that. A cubic centimeter, a cubic centimeter, one cubic centimeter, can be filled up by one milliliter. Okay, one milliliter is equal to one cubic centimeter. Now it is not equal to one centimeter. That's that. Is, this is not true. Keep this in mind. This not true. This, however is true one centimeter cubed notice the difference okay so keep that in mind so if one milliliter is equal to one centimeter cubed then if we wanted to change this into milliliters we would simply just change centimeters cubed into milliliters and we would know that 24,000 milliliters would fit into that but now the question becomes what if I wanted to change that into something more realistic or something more relatable and say liters, right? We have a liter, um, two liters of soda. What would that mean? Well, milliliter, if we look back at our understanding of what centimeter is on the chart for the metric system, milliliters is the same thing. And we simply have um, the... Uh, breakdown of that would be 24 liters, right? 24 liters. And why is it 24? Well, that is because uh, 20, to, in order to get to liters, we would divide by 1,000, right? And that would be 1, 2, 3, which gives us 24 liters. It's 1,000 um times smaller than a liter. A milliliter is a thousand times smaller than a liter, so in order to get back to it, we have to go in reverse. So 24 liters, okay? Um, so that's kind of how we would relate to that. And um, what we could also do is we can go in reverse, and I want to show you what that looks like. So and now instead, let's get rid of this, and now we know what it is. Or you know what? Let's let's make this make more sense here. Um, we'll keep that. We'll keep 30 centimeters cubed because we already know the answer. We're gonna get rid of 40, and I'm gonna say, hey guys, what happens if we already know the side? What happens if the side is already, um, or the I'm sorry, the volume is given to us? So I'm gonna tell you, hey. 24,000 milliliters, how do I figure out what, a mi what my missing side is? Now, we know that it's 40, but I want to show you the math. And so in order to do that, we can simply rename 24,000 milliliters because what is 24,000 milliliters equal to? Well, it is equal to 24,000 centimeters cubed. And now I can take my 24,000 centimeters cubed and I can divide it by what I have. My base, right, area is length times width. That is my base. That's what's down there, um, which is 3 times 2, or in this case, 6 
and two zeros, right? 600 centimeters squared. That's my base, right? Because area square area. Um, and now I can divide this out. And what is 24 divided by 6? It's 4, right? 4. And then how many zeros can I cross off? Well, there's 2 here and there's uh, 2 here. So I'm left with 1. And the centimeters are going to, if there's, right, they're all going to cross out. So there's one set of centimeters left. And now my bait or my height or my missing side is 40 centimeters. And so that's how we can do it backwards. Okay, so that's how we would be able to do it backwards. So just remember, if you take anything away, that one milliliter is the same as one centimeter cubed. All right?